one of the things that we really want to bring to a very competitive genre is uh, this, this concentration on narrative. We, want, we have a very dark and mature story that we want to tell in a very unique setting in Dubai. There's so much money there. And what it gives us is this extremely unique setting for, I mean, this is not your standard shooter battlefield. This is these opulent, decadent, amazing areas where you have these crystal giraffes that are showing up. Where does that stuff come from? I mean, like Lugo says, where do you even buy one of those? The story is trying to tell this, tell the uh, the story of the squad as they journey into the heart of darkness. And uh, what what happens in Dubai? There's horrible things going on, and they they get there thinking it's a simple mission, and they find out that it's not what they expected. And so throughout the story, you're finding out that things aren't what you expected, and you're having to make these decisions. And this this is where the the subtitle comes from, the line. It's the, it's the line that soldiers every day are asked to to approach and potentially cross and, and do they, you know, what's their decision? What are they going to do in this particular situation? Do I pull the trigger? Do I not? Throughout the game you'll find, you'll find different areas where you have to make these decisions and within, uh, as far as the game is concerned, there's really not a game over sequence. There's no right or wrong answer. So you have, you have a split second to make a decision and it, again, similar to what we saw at the end of the demo, pull the trigger or don't. And that's, you know, there's, there's other ways to approach that situation, but what are you going to do and how it will, it will play out differently and it will affect the story as you, as you move along. There will be, uh, there will be some, some multiple endings, but we're not going to, we're not going to go into too much detail about that. The city has been destroyed by uh, these cataclysmic sandstorms that have, that have ravaged the area. And so it gives us a really great backdrop to be able to tell this, this, this very dark story. The sand makes sense because we're in the middle of the desert. And so what's happened is this, the city is, a lot of the city is entombed. So certain areas have not even been touched by this sand. You've got this, this sand avalanche that, that, uh, that, you're, that the player is able to use to, to even the odds. And so throughout the game, if you're perceptive and you're paying attention, you'll find all kinds of areas where you can do exactly that. Turn the tide on, on your enemies and, and wipe them out with this, you know, tons of sand just falling on them. If you're not so perceptive, they can actually turn around and use those on you. Along the way, you'll find other weapons that you can use, and, and you will you will discover other things. It's not it's not just what you start with. You will discover more things to play with. We do have um, we are planning on telling some of the backstory and how how things got to the point that they are when when the player starts starts a single player campaign. So you'll get to see some of that some of that backstory, and that will be that will be what the co-op offering. Within the multiplayer, we do have a full. Uh, a full leveling uh, progression that you'll you'll unlock new uh, essentially perks and uh, upgrades to weapons and things like that that you can you can use to customize your character within multiplayer.